because the thing with Clomid that I always warn people about is Clomid, with the way that it works, it can increase something called sex hormone binding globulin, SHBG. So SHBG binds to the testosterone in the bloodstream. So the more SHBG that you have, the more your testosterone gets bound up or locked up. So this can lead to lower levels of free or bioavailable testosterone, which is the type of testosterone the body can actually use. Mm. So with Clomid, you can see testosterone levels start to go up. So if you start somebody on Clomid, T levels can start to go up, but their free T will either can either not change or go down. Not every patient that we see this in, some patients do great on Clomid, but it does have the capability of increasing that SHBG. So then we end up kind of stuck in this vicious cycle of like, hey, we've got good looking total testosterone, but we're not feeling better. And you check that free testosterone and you see why they're not feeling better because you've not changed their free testosterone levels any. So a lot of times, if we can switch over to enclomiphene, we're going to have less of that estrogenic effect and less of that sex hormone binding globulin stimulation. Mm. So we can increase that total and that free testosterone without having a lot as many negative side effects. 